Oh my God. Dude, nurse that trout. Take it easy with that fish. Let me get the net. It's probably about right now you're wondering why it is I'm running for the net like a deranged madman. Dude. And that's because my Navy buddy Brad day. just hooked up with what we think is the biggest speckled trout of the day. Now before we jump into all that, we need to back up and take a look at how it is we got here in the first place and where exactly it is we're fishing. The spot we're fishing is the Rock Dam in Hopedale, Louisiana. It's a giant pile of rocks that was put in place in 2009 to block tidal flow down the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet. It's a well-known fishing destination that, above all, under the right conditions, can be a really good fishing spot. Now, here's what's going on. We launched in Reggio earlier that morning, and you can see how that went down in parts one through three of this video series, which you'll find links to in the video description below. Now, everything you see between Reggio and Rock Dam, well, we fished most of that, and we came around with 20-something speckled trout. So we're catching fish, but we really haven't hit the mother load yet. And upon our arrival at the Rock Dam, we discovered that we would not be fishing it alone. We'd be sharing it with a few bank anglers you see in this corner. That's where this final part of my fishing trip with my Navy buddy Brad picks up. Enjoy! There we go, alright. Dude, that water has dropped over on this side. You can see it on the rocks. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here at the Rock Dam. We're going to give this a whack. I feel, uh... I feel confident that if there are fish, we'll catch them. The water here is nice, trout green, clean and green, kind of like what you want to see if you're going to be in here fishing. Where you want to see when you go trout fishing anywhere. I have a feeling too that if we're going to catch a big trout like this, this is where it's going to be at, just because this is a straight shot from the gulf. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is just kind of cut across that way. We'll, we'll be able to cast it where he's casting without being on top of them, you know? I don't really have a better angle than this right here. Yeah, so let me uh, let me just get over here. We'll jig all this. There we go. Bam! Right there. Felt like I got hung up on the rocks, dude. Bam! This is why you learn how to throw a jig. 15 inch fish, 16 inches. Ooh, dude, I just got lit up. Ooh, there we go. I got him now. Dude, if this is a trout, it is a trout. It's a freaking trout, dude. Nah, no. Boat flip or die. Dude. All right, I'm following the trout to the back of the boat right now. Dude, get the net. Dude, get the net. Dude, we're not boat flipping or dying on this one. Yeah, it's, it's not that big. It's not that big, but it's big enough. Dude, dude, all right, I got it, I got it. Just keep fishing. Matrix Shannon, holy jolly, look at that. Dude, and she slam hammered it down, too. Alright, so here we go. This fish is 20 inches. There you go. Yeah, she's just, she's just right at 20 inches. Yeah. That's a nice speckled trout right there. There's this page called Release Over 20 on Instagram that I really like. I like the idea of uh, releasing over 20 inch fish because these fish are very important to maintaining our speckled trout population. So I'm going to release this fish. Hashtag release over 20, all right? Let's go ahead and put her back. There she goes. Hey, dude, good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dude. Dude, we are not going. As long as there's fish like that here, we ain't going nowhere. Oh look, great, now, now here comes the, the friggin... 
the rock yes, dam or mod if people saw us cats have fish and now they're coming over here great we came over here we let them have their space all right we didn't mess with them L literally the whole the whole rock dam or crew just comes down here just because they saw us catch a couple fish that is the definition of pot licking man Let's get it. 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 More speckled trout. Let's get it. 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 Ooh, there we go. Bam, baby. Bro, this is way more fun than throwing that popping cork earlier. Welcome to the club, buddy. Let's get it. 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 Forty two, son. this a hundred times before but I'm gonna say it again because it just is, is so true there are three kinds of inshore fishing knowledge there's what you know there's what you know that you don't know then there's the things that you don't know that you do not know and those are the things you're completely ignorant of right and I feel that the number one thing that's going to help you catch fish is not going to be a specific lure color, a specific make a model of reel or trolling motor or sunglasses or whatever. What's going to help you catch fish is practical fishing know-how, knowing where to go based upon the conditions, knowing what kind of tackle to use based upon what the fish are doing, knowing how to safely navigate the marsh. So you spend more time fishing the most productive parts of the marsh and less time getting your boat stuck or being worried about hitting something that's underwater or whatever. And I have all these different kinds of inshore fishing knowledge categorized as navigational or fish behavior, catching fish, uh, finding fish from scratch, whatever. I have it categorized in different courses on my website, lafbelite.com. And the cost of learning that knowledge in the courses that I have costs less than all the live bait that you're going to use all year long. And it's not just videos, there's instructor support, there's a comment section on each lesson. So that way if you have a question or maybe some of the subject, uh, maybe like some of the subject matter material didn't really make sense or something you don't understand, you can ask questions on that lesson. All you need to do is go to lafbelite.com or look for a link in the video description below. And if you're ever wondering where it is that we're fishing, and I mean, uh, uh, some places are pretty obvious just when you watch the video, but other places not so much. And if you're wondering about all that insider information, how it is you can get a hold of it, you get a hold of it by joining LAFB Elite. Because what I do for fishing trips like this is at the end of the day, ooh, yes! is at the end of the day, I'll take the GPS tracks off uh, my boat's GPS and upload them on a Google Earth and go over exactly everywhere it is that I went and what happened, what lures work best, lessons learned, things to do next time, things not to do next time. So that way you get the same information that I learned when I go fishing and you don't even have to go fishing, you can just watch the post-trip review and that's what that video is called. And again, you can watch post-trip reviews at lafbelite.com. All right, let me pull out that jerk bait. Throw that again. Ooh, here we go. Uh, dude, that is a stud hammer spackle trout. Can I get you to get that? Can I get that net again? Can I, can I, can I get that net service? What is a mule? 
mule, bro. <laughs> bro. That is a mule. Dude, that is a freaking hammer. That has a weird golden color to it, too. For spec, that thought it was red. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure that this is yet another 20 inch fish. Yeah, it's just 20. Oh, yeah, she, she's over 20. Look at that. That's the kind of fish we came here for. Look at that right there. And uh, we are going to let her go. Oop. Take her off. That's our third fish released over 20 today. So I caught that fish on this Rapala x wrap that is being thrown on this uh, Daiwa Tatula Elite Seth Fighter jerk bait rod. And uh, it's a rod he designed, and you can actually see he's got, they got a signature printed on there. It's just cool, I'm just a nerd for that kind of stuff, but the reel I'm using is a Daiwa Tatula SV and a high gear ratio, that's eight to one gear ratio, so I can take up slack real quickly. It's a really, really good jerk bait setup. It's my favorite. It's one of the few combos that I, that I put together and fished with it, and I was like, this is, this is what I'm gonna use for jerk baits, for twitch baits here on out, and I'm very, very confident with it. Hey, hey Brad, we're making everyone look just stupid here at the rock dam. <laughs> and that's and that's not my goal. Okay, but we did we did show up and start putting 20 inch fish in the boat. Yeah. And and it, we're and we didn't see anyone else catching 20 inch fish. It goes to show, even in community honey holes, you can still have a lot of fishing pressure, but you can go in there and just do the the one or two things that no one else is doing, and you can put together a good box of fish. Dude, we gotta count these freaking fish soon. And I got him one on first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dude. What? What? Just shy. She's just shy. Hang on, let me get closer here. Just shy of 20, huh? All right. Well, uh, are you pinching that tail? No, as far as it'll go, is it uh, mm -hmm. just okay? Well, yeah, because then uh, she's just. I, I'd release her anyway. Show her to the camera and let her go, and uh, uh, I'll click her in. There she goes. All right, so that's forty. Yeah, that's forty-seven. How do we get to forty-seven? I thought we just hit forty-five. Yeah, let's let's count these fish up real real quick. Like, how about you keep you keep fishing and putting them in the boat, and I'll I'll, I'll count them. All right, keep fishing, dude. Keep fishing. Go go go. One, two, three, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 36, 37, 49, and 50 on the dot. 50. Brad, we're, we're, throw that fish back. We're done. We're done. Throw that fish back. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's why you got to be on that clicker, boys and girls. So we already caught way more than 50 because uh, uh, cause we released those fish. That we released all those 20 inch and 19 inch fish. Brad, Brad, we got to get better at counting. That's why we had to join the military, dude. We had nothing going for it. I mean, we can't count with a clicker. Just stop fishing, dude. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding around. Boys and girls, trout number 50. And these, we're still getting bit. Oh, they're still on Okay, all right. Ugh. <laughs> Bro, so we limited out like a half hour ago. <laughs> nice. That's a nice speckled trout, dude. Hey, dude, uh, the deck is really slimy from all the speckled trout, so be very careful walking around down there, okay? Look, what happened? Why are they all keepers? Why are they? They're all, they're all keepers <laughs> because we don't need to keep them anymore. Boys and girls, that's a fishing trip. That's a wrap. All right, two veterans going fishing, smashing the limit of speckled trout. Not good at counting. All right, <laughs> but, but we were in the Marine Corps. All right, we're just gonna keep fishing and, and catch and release. 
Ooh, nice. So relaxing fishing, it's like, no man, like I'm, I've got a, a mission, I'm going to finish. Gotta it. go, but but now that we've accomplished that now mission, whatever, so 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 what Brad's saying, if you can't hear him, is like, a, like a lot of people always say, oh, it must be so nice to go fishing all the time. I love just being out on the boat and relaxing. Like we should go fishing sometime. And when someone tells me that, I'm like, you are never going to go fishing with me because I'm a, I'm a lunatic on the water, and I do a very good job of masking it, but. The, uh, the way you get good at things is, is by being obsessive with it and keep hammering at it. And when you fail, you just get back up and you can't look at that. Oh, and you just keep going Monster trout, and, and you just keep going and you get better and you learn and you adapt and you improve and you put in your time. It's a lot of hard work. Dude, look at this trout. Oh my God, dude, nurse that trout. Take it easy with that fish. Let me get the net. Dude, oh this is the biggest trout for all day. Oh my God, dude! dude mine, bro. Yes. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. And now, and that's good. All right. That's a rat. Oh, dude, that's a 22-inch fish. And there she goes. Hey, good job, dude. Thank you. If you enjoyed watching this video, by all means, please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a big difference. And if you would like to know when the next video goes live, all you have to do is subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. I want to thank you for supporting a veteran-owned business. When you watch this video on YouTube, you're supporting this veteran-owned business, and that's Louisiana Fishing Blog. Thanks for watching, and if you got any questions, comments, or something to add, just post it up in the comment section below. Tight lines, y'all.